kile utapika uji jo uji ukiongezea maji unakuwa mwingi kwa hivyo mnakujua kwa wingi mpya story pale hakuna vijiko mnatoka nje mnakata miti ya mcharso ndio mnatumia kunywa nayo uji naika ukoje hapo ndani moruzeni shuleni so ndugu yangu nime survive miaka 4 ndio ni mpakaro ya mtu mmoja pekee mmoja pekee yake um awani ya old mca mololo wale so i'm very happy for that my brother Yes, a very good morning to you wherever you're watching us from. Welcome to the Gabriel TV and we are coming to you live from Two Oceans Hotel here in Taitaveta County and today I have one of the impressive guests who has risen from grass to grace and we shall be hearing his story. Je, ili kuaje? And uh, without wasting time, who anasema kwa Kiswahili? Hana jina niandike na mata ile Halloween upo. Majina yangu nafahamika kama Gabriel Mukoma. Karibu katika the Gabriel team. Uh, Asante sana ndugu yangu Gabriel kwa fursa hii umenipa ya kuja kujieleza. Kwanza kabisa ningependa kusema kwamba jina langu ni mwalimu Lawrence Mwanjala Mzuga. Eh, nimezaliwa eh, kijiji cha Kochuni. Eh, Bololo location Mraru sub location eh, of course ni voice sub county Tausa division lakini sasa hizi tulipopata magatuzi mpya tunaita Mbololo wadi hapo ndo nimezaliwa hiyo eh, ni kitambo kidogo eh, mwaka wa 1983 mwezi wa 11 tarehe 13 hiyo ndo siku mimi nilizaliwa na nimezaliwa na mzee mmoja anaitwa John Mzuga na Gladness Wachia mambo ambapo walikuwa ni familia ambayo haikuwa inajikimu hivyo familia ambayo haikuwa inajikimu sana lakini wakani faulu kunipeleka shule ya msingi ya Mkochuni primary nilianza chekechea hapo Mkochuni nursery school e, nikaenda Mkochuni primary 91 to 98 E, nikafaulu vizuri nikaenda ki, nilikuwa nimepata alama 412 kati ya 400 kati ile alama 700 nikaitwa mchuchu high school e, nikasoma mwaka mmoja fedha zikakimbia nikiwa boarding nikabeba baba yangu bado azma yangu ya kusoma iko ningawaje umelemewa na na, na na pesa za kulipia katika katika bweni lakini ukilipia e, day school naweza tembea kwa mdo alisali moja asubuhi sali moja jioni ili nipunguze hiyo fees ndio mwaka kana mkataba second school that is 19 uh, uh, 19 2000 was 1999 i was in mchuchu high school so 2000 back to 2002 i cleared my form 4 i scored well i joined kenyatta university 2003 eh uh, i joined kenyatta university lakini ndugu yangu mimi kwenda university si kwenda crisis hivyo. Maana kwa wakati ule nilikuwa nimehitimu alama ya C+. Na C+ ilikuwa cut off mark. Haikuwa imefikia ya kuingia kwa kupitia kwa serikali kwa job. Kwa hivyo ilibidi niende SSP, kwa ile self sponsored program. Maana yake nilikuwa na ham na ari ya, 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 ya kuingia chuo kikuu. Lakini mzazi wangu akaniambia babangu akaniambia mtoto wangu nipenda kusoma sana lakini pesa zitatoka wapi na kweli nikaangalia kwa nyumba hakuna chochote hata shilingi 50 hazionekana nataka kabla tu hatujaweza kuendelea nataka uweze kutujengea taswira ya jinsi ulipokuwa unakuwa maisha yenu yalikuwa vipi nyinyi kama wana mkigroa kama children how was your life back at home okay i can say basically uh, we are from a very humble background in fact uh, affording three meals a day was a nightmare my dad was uh, doing uh, some casual job at one of the companies in Nairobi he was living in Kibera estate so we were living with, our, my, with my mom I'm the first born with that of three siblings my brother Josiah is another called Agnes number uh, and then and Cecilia two boys two girls and being the first born with my mother uh, my mother could not afford to give us lunch every day ya nasema first kama hata kupata chakula ya lunch ni ngumu mama yetu akasema kwamba watoto wangu ndio nikae hapo katukalisha mkao na pesa nimetumia na baba yenu hii ndio unga nimenunua 
hii unga umuamue kama hii unga mtaitumia mwezi mzima mtaitumia lunch na saba ishe katikati ama tu tunakula lunch peke yake tu tunakula saba peke yake to skip to 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 skip lunch mimi nikaoongoza wenzangu kwambia badala kushinda njaa kabisa basi tu tunakunywa uji hiyo lunch time so tukapima unga kidogo bakuli zikao zimepimwa bakuli 30 za kutoshia mwezi mzima hiyo tutapika uji hiyo uji ukiongezea maji unakuwa mwingi kwa hivyo mnakunywa kwa wingi mpya story pale hakuna vijiko mnatoka nje mnakata miti ya, ya mcharso ndio tunapiga kunywa naye uji naika ukao hapo ndani morozeni shuleni so tukaifanya tukaifanya tukisonga maisha tuko maisha kisonga so baada hapo e, uzuri ni kwamba katika ile ya kujikakamua baba yangu aliweza kutulipia lipia karo kwa hivyo nikimaliza secondary school siwezi sema kama nilikuwa na debt kubwa yani nilikuwa kidogo nikalimaliza lakini ngoma kamili ilikuwa mambo ya chuo kikuu pia manake ilikuwa sina hata shilingi na mimi huyu nataka kwenda university na kuna ari kabisa nataka kwenda university kwa sababu kwa sababu naona pale kwetu nyumbani sio mtu amenda university kwa nini mimi nisiende so nikaamua nikaanza kufanya michango ninakumbuka nilifanya michango ya kwanza nikapata shilingi 35 na tano lakini karo yenyewe ilikuwa 1000 na 1998 kwa mwaka pale Kenya University kuitiwa Bachelor of Education English and Literature So nilipofanya bidi hiyo 1035 1010 katumia matumizi matumizi kama kile 1025 tukai deposit kwa account ya Kenya University tukashika safari kwanza watu wa kijiji pale wakafurahi ya mtoto wetu ame na university kwa ni furaha sana kwa watu wame furahi mimi na university na 1025 fika pale na shangaa tunaambia kwamba there is no body will be allowed to will be admitted with even one book to see balance so it was supposed to be zero balance So my dad he had done everything. He, was, he told me now he has given up. So I should, should go back home. Kasema stay na nyumbani. Kabe bangu ingia na nyumbani ile aibu. Taipata pale kitijini itakuwa na ibu kwa sana. Ninga ombe wenda nyumbani daddy. Ninge ngeza mukibera. Kaza kaza hasol zangu kibera. Cho mama hindi fanya nini? Kufanya mpango pale pale kibera. Ati zuri baada muda kidogo babangu akanipigia simu. Akaniambia bwana nimepata zile pesa baada ya mwezi mmoja mwezi mmoja na nusu semester ile ifika katikati ah kama mimi turudi basi turudi za shuleni karudi shuleni ndugu yangu hiyo ndo pesa peke yake niweza kulipa KU hiyo at semester ya kwanza na 5000 na accommodation kaingia pale ilikuwa inaitwa Adi Hostels pale nini Kenyatta University Rural Campus hapo ndo tulianzia so ndugu yangu nime survive miaka 4 ndio nimepa karo ya mtu mmoja pekee Mm-hmm. lakini it was a very difficult moment na kuja tulala nje tukifukuzwa mao nini nyumba huko nje tulala nje na rafiki yangu mwingine anaitwa Michael Mokazi tumefungiwa nyumba nakumbuka tukulala nje nakumbuka kwamba ninasoma lakini sina uhakika wa kufanya mtihani mtafanya mtihani inafika mtihani ni Monday na, na leo ni Sunday sina exam card challenge tukangangana hivyo hivyo kimungumungu wakati mwingine na naenda nasomana na watu na wenzangu na somana na wenzangu baada baadaye professor alikuwa professor JJ Omonga nafikiri akakaja akasema siku moja ah andikeni majina hapa mnanisumbua mimi hiyo Sunday John setup za za John na nika jina langu pale example za print hiyo na kipia nenda fanya mtihani it used to be a hustle from semester 2 to semester 8 hustle hustle yani living with uncertainties mpaka nikamaliza lakini nilipomaliza ndugu yangu 2007 nimemaliza nafaka ku graduate nataka na tu graduate sababu fee balance inadaiwa 325000 inadaiwa na nirudi zangu nyumbani familia ni ile ile nilibadi niliacha niachanga nda stop hizo pesa mimi nikaanza ku hustle kufanya ma kwenda kuna kumbuka the only results slip i had hiyo first term first semester first year hiyo ndio nilipa ndio so hiyo ndio nilikuwa nayo and then i had i had some I did some teaching practice. So I some documents show that I did teaching practice. So I used to look for barrowers using those documents. Kazunga Mombasa nafanya barrow kwa kwa 1000 kumi, 1000 na 4, nikaja kufanya Bartholomew, nikafanya Valentine, nafanya shule nyingi sana, moja baada nyingine, kwa le seminary. Na ngangana nitafuti ile 325000. Nimalize ile fee graduate. Kuji yangu hiyo fee nilikutaipata nikiwa mkataba second year ndio nafunisha kama BOM teacher. Ndio pesa imetoshea ya kulipa. Ndio ni graduate that's 
graduate. Nenda ku graduate pale Kenya University. Nenda ku graduate wenzangu wali graduate four years, five, five, five years ago. Wamesha pata kazi. Mii mbalo sija pata kazi. In fact, my graduation ceremony nenda peke yangu. Nenda kwa nauna nani sales member wa wangu and I'm not sure that I'm going to graduate. So nenda kwa nenda peke yangu. I can remember throughout my graduation ceremony nilikuwa nalia machozi. Nenda mwa kefi. Nalia machozi. Siamini kama I'm the one graduating in KU. That journey of around uh, almost 10 years in school was four years plus another five years. Yeah, almost 10 years as long. But I graduated, unfortunately, I got a job. Uh, teacher service, service Commission. But he doesn't depart like you can In fact, the ones who gave me that job up to today, they don't know how they gave me the job. But I had prayed. I was I, I really prayed to God. Like I remember I prayed to go to an extent that Mungu nyaka njibu. I can be a Musula, Nina Quintaji. Mimi mwenyewe nitakuwa kwa interview. Na nilikuwa nimesoma pale kwa ofisi za education pale nje kwa kwa mti pale na ipikia ngwa blue. Nikasikia mtu ananyongelesha mara mbili. So I went to the interview with a lot of confidence and I got that job not because not because of anything but because I gave them my story. I never even did the interview. I gave my story. So they say now we give this guy the job. So only point here hapo bwana. Ndio hapo safari kaanza ya kufunga kufundisha ngalo high school. Kufundisha miaka mmoja baada ya kupita. Nikaanza siasa pia hapo ndo nianze pia siasa maana kesi siasa eh maana siasa ni siasa za walimu lakini nakumbuka kabisa eh ari yangu ya kuwa mwanasiasa ulianza ari ni ni lini ulianza ari ya kuwa mwanasiasa ari yangu ya kuwa mwanasiasa nilipata nje wa maktaba high school Ta. form 3 kwa sababu the maktaba mimi ndo the badens by John Rugana eh iko na na a character code wa mala wa mala was a politician and we had a teacher called Mr Gidai we used to do to, to dramatize that book the politician in Wamala was coming out clearly from Mr Gidai so that day i told my class my 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 my, my desk one day i'll be in the national parliament by the way my dream was to be a member, member of parliament. national assembly that is my pure dream which was just uh, delivered in uh, october high school so when i went to become a teacher i never become an ordinary teacher i became a teacher politician I can remember in Moktaba I was being called, uh, my name was not Lawrence Mzuha, as I've said. And Lawrence Mzuha came when I was in Form 2, it changed, I was called Orengo, James yeah, Orengo. James. In fact, most of the guys I was, I was in school with, they, they have to now call me James Orengo, they call me Orengo. Yeah. Because of my zeal, I have to take care of my children, and I have to take care of my I've been struggling for that for so long. So I was in India, I was in the world, I was in the world, E, nikaomba kitu cha kusimamia walimu wote wa undani kama mwalimu wa kiume inaitwa BC branch executive committee member wa kiume sa undani sub county finance sub county walimu ngao na saba hivi na mimi nilikuwa mwalimu wa secondary na unajua chama cha NAT kwa kwa cha walimu primary so mimi nilikuwa naenda primary school kuomba kiti cha NAT kwa secondary school na walimu wa primary school walikuwa 700 walimu wa secondary school walikuwa walimu kama walimu kama 60 NAT kit so the probability of getting that position was very difficult was, not, was very slim but uh, nikaomba kura nikarai walimu tukashindana na ndugu yangu ati pasimbogoli wa mwangea primary school ambaye alikuwa ni head teacher by then na walimu wakaniaminia wakanipatia kura kwa wingi nikawachapia kazi miaka 2 na nusu nafasi katokezea huko juu ya vice secretary na teacher taveta nikauliza walimu wa bundani naonaje wakaniambia mzuka hapa bundani ni block yako hii umetufanyia kazi tumeiona so nenda huko tafute kura kaunti nzima kazunga kaunti nzima tukapa kura kwa walimu tushindana wenzangu wa tano tukapambana kura kwa sababu pale eh, Bartholomew High School kaibuka mshindi kashinda walimu wa tano wa, wa primary school kawa na mbwana so nikachagulwa vice secretary nat taita taveta county nikafanya tena miaka mitano juice juice tu mwaka miaka mwili iliyopita before i went for this seat i was not to, to defend my seat as the vice secretary nat and they say i'm going to defend it and i need to defend it because bados jaf jaf kule kumire i defended it against my brother uh, from matate pia nkamshinda and uh, i became a, a second time of vice secretary nat state at aveta ukachapia walimu kazi tulifanya mambo mengi sana ya walimu mengi sana pia na ndiposa baadaye ile ari yangu ya secondary school ya koma na siasa ikaamka sasa ndo nikamua na chukua kalamu na karatasi hii kazi ambayo mimi nimekuelezea nimeipata kwa chasho la damu na iacha. Na iacha kwa sababu nilikuwa naangalia vile watu wanateseka. Nikao naona kwamba given an opportunity I will come up with new ideas 
to help, especially number one, education in data data. That, that, that's a pregnant of education in data data. To, to empower my people and to ensure that we have some level of employment. That was my dream. So that dream, it came to pass, it, it came to pass during 2022, 20, 20, August 9th election. And now you're the MCO. Currently, I'm glad, by grace of God, I'm a one-year-old MCA for all one. So I'm very happy for that, my brother. You're not only the MCA, the deputy majority. Yeah, those are other, 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 other ranks, but say, I could not be a deputy majority leader if I could not be the MCA. MCA. So I became an MCA when I went to the assembly. Also, my colleagues in the assembly saw my potential. Yeah. And uh, the, we had some guy, we had a guy who, had, who has been a second timer. We allowed him to become the majority leader. Majority. But they said, they immediately after him, I should become the deputy majority leader. Deputy majority. Which I'm currently, I'm currently in. I'm currently also the chair, trade committee. I am a member of education committee. I'm a member of health committee. I'm a member of youth and sports committee. I'm a youth, member of roads and infrastructure committee. I'm a member of liaison committee, house business committee. Most around nine committees in the in the house. I'm a member because uh, of my my number one, my capability and what my colleagues saw in me in that assembly. Yes. So one will ask. How do you feel being a politician? How is it? Is it rough? Is it something you expected? What I will tell you, uh, of course, being a politician is not an easy thing. It's a difficult thing. In fact, I will advise anybody who wants to go for politics. You, you test the amount of air in your stomach. <laughs> because you must have enough, you must, you must be, you must, it, in fact, I discovered politicians, uh, a political position is is, uh, is a divine position. It's an inspirational position. You must be inspired for you to be a politician and be the, the right politician anyway because there are others who go there with their own. Because the challenges in politics, my friend, they are not easy. But as for me, I am very happy to be a politician because that's where I belong. That's what I wanted. When somebody comes to my house, I help that person. When I go to the assembly, I, I, I legislate a law which is going to help my people when I go and represent people of Mololo that's what, that's like water to, to a duck I'm very happy about it despite the challenges I can I will overcome all the challenges because of because more uh, I am more inspired than just being a politician Alright, thank you very much uh, Mr. Lawrence now the MC of Mololo we want to take a short break and uh, when we come back we shall discuss about your agenda in Mololo discuss the development projects and everything so we as i said earlier we're coming to you live from two oceans hotel in voy Taito Taveta county where i'm hosting bololo at mca lawrence mzunga mzuga we are now taking a short break we shall be back with more stay tuned <laughs> 